I'm super excited to introduce a lovely AI writing tool today. It's called Quillbot, and I'll leave a link to Quillbot in the description box below this video. And I'm just on their webpage. Let's just delve in and just see what they can do. They have a paraphraser, a grammar checker, a plagiarism checker, AI detector, summarizer, and a citation generator. I'm going to use the free version today, but with premium, you seem to get quite a bit more um, because the free version doesn't have the plagiarism checker 100 pages per month and you can summarize more words but let's see what the free version can give us back to the home page what is also very nice is there's a chrome extension and the edge and a extension and a word add-in that's very useful and there's an Android and iOS app, which can also be very useful. Let's delve into the free version. And we will create an account, and that I've already done. And we're now inside Quillboard's workspace. Here's a paraphraser. And look, you can set it all kinds of settings. I'll use standard, fluency, natural. Um, I may need to upgrade to premium to use all these. Let's stick to standard. There's my invitation to a writing retreat and let's ask it to paraphrase. Lovely. And you can see if you want to use that. We have the grammar checker. Again, the same thing. And it will check your grammar, make some suggestions for improvement. Cobalt flow. This is where you can keep all your projects. For example, this is a folder and I put my writing retreat invitation in there just to organize things a little bit better. The plagiarism checker, I'll need to upgrade to use that. And there's a free AI detector. How interesting is this? Let's put some text in here and we see what it does. And it says human written and paraphrased 40%. Human written 60%. Very interesting. We have our summarizer. Let's see if we can summarize this piece in a few less words. And that's lovely as well. And our translator from English to Italian. Oh, great. And then there's a citation generator where you can paste the URL into this box and then it generates a citation for you. So if you quickly just want to send somebody a citation of something or insert it below a letter and you're not using your EndNote or Mendeley or Zotero, you can just do this. Quick citation generator. Another very cool feature of Quillbot is if you don't want to work in this interface, you can go to Quillbot Flow and open one of your documents. Let's say you want to create a new Google Docs or MS Word or so, you can import your document and then you can work within the document in Quillbot. And this is what it will look like. And here you have your paraphrasing features, your summarize, your translate. It will even suggest you some text. If you want to add any text and you, you, know, you can't think of anything to add, you can ask it to suggest something. And here it goes. And it suggests some additional text. Um, fix all errors. Another cool feature is that you can dictate or listen. So if I want to listen to what I've written, you can click listen. And listening to your text is often a very good way to um, edit it and to pick up some problems in the argument or the sentence structure. So that's also a very good thing to do. Dictate means that I can speak and I can, as I speak, the words will appear in the text. So that's also a very nice speech to text feature. Let's have a look at what the Chrome extension of Quillbot can do for us. I've just drafted an email in Gmail and here's the little Quillbot icon. Now you can rephrase something or it says it picked up two grammar errors. 
So when I click here, it's going to fix both grammar issues at the same time, or I can just click here and fix them one by one. But there's also an option to rephrase. Let's see. I want to use the standard version. And you can rephrase. You know, if you don't want to sound too boring, you can choose another option. I must say, I really like Quillbot's interface and the way it's laid out. It's super intuitive and easy. And um, I think it's really worth trying out. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.